Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. You can tell I'm pretty sick, but I've got to record this tutorial because uh, I was editing a video and uh, this is not the video I was editing. I uh, made a mistake. Uh, the video uh, crashed and I opened up a previously saved attempt and for some reason it opened up um, a different video. Uh, it's because I've done some different naming renaming and stuff in the past and so I didn't realize that and I saved over the video I was editing with a completely different project so we're going to restore it uh, and what I'm gonna do and this is just a great time for a tutorial so excuse my voice I wasn't planning on filming today uh, family's been pretty sick go to the tools tab then go to advanced save and then here you can see in the this is where you can change some of your advanced save options a, like a live save would do a constant save but it would be a performance problem not a pr problem but you would need to like see if it works with your computer or not uh, before you start using it regularly Ad advanced backup uh, it always does backups but you can kind of control the backup interval and the daily backups and our archives and stuff like that so this is where you would do that um, and you, we can actually restore the project from one of its backup files and it saves all these files to a certain location you can actually change where it saves these backup files so this is saving my C drive but if I wanted to save space on my C drive I could move this uh, somewhere else or keep it all together and use the current project folder so if you're sharing a project with somebody like editing online or something like that and uh, and you're putting the project updating the project to like a on OneDrive folder or something you would or a Google Drive folder you would want to like put everything together in one folder and make it a lot simpler for the project to be shared and um, and you can even select a custom folder I don't recommend clearing all backups but you can do that if you're having a space problems or current backups we're gonna restore from backup so when I go to restore my project doesn't have any backups and so that might be a problem so what we're gonna do uh, we're going to go ahead and select uh, create backups uh, in the future and I want it to save these backups so that way and I'm going to let it save it to my C drive that's a different drive than what I edit off of but for me it'll kind of give me some redundancy uh, so that way if I have something happens to one of my drives I might be able to restore some things um, so there is no backups for this current drive I'm going to leave it with all the default minute hours and stuff but a backup is different than just a save um, because what a backup does is it actually creates a second file that uh, doesn't exist. Um, so I don't think this is quite true though. It says there's no backups for it. Um, I think that might not be true. So this this file right here, I'm going to navigate to that file. And the reason I don't think this is going to be true is because I just na I just saved over the wrong thing, and and uh, I I want to take a look at that there. So. For my movie studio 17 peeps, this is all true too. Um, you've got uh, live save, advanced backup, and everything, all the same options, and there is a uh, place you can, it's a different place, um, but uh, based off the movie studio's naming schema, but uh, this, this is saying, all this is going to be true for you too. Something to note while you're doing this too, um, the app data folder is hidden, so you'll need to go to view and make sure that hidden folders can be seen. Uh, and then you go to your app data, local Vegas Pro which will be in the V's and then 18 and then uh, here are some auto backups and saves and we're going to go to date modified and we're gonna look for today's six 520 we're gonna look for something that happened uh, 520 so Here's an auto save that happened in 520. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Cool thing about Vegas, you can have several iterations of the same software at the same time. Oh, thank God. So I am missing, uh, I hadn't saved it in a while. I am missing quite a few um, edits that I've done, uh, but you can see all of this is editing that I had already done. I've got some J cuts I'm still working on and stuff, but all of this is editing I'd already done. I had lost everything when I accidentally saved over uh, my my one project with another project. I essentially washed it clean. So being able to go to backups now, I, I've saved probably about seventy percent of the work I did, which is way more than zero. So um, that is advanced backups in Vegas. Before anything happens, I'm going to save as. You have a lot of saving options and resurrection options uh, available to you so you don't necessarily have to start from scratch thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time lots more bigger videos it's just a quick one because you know it's it's uh 
nice to have some stuff like this. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.